today i am going to start exercise 12.4 in which we are going to discuss about some patterns look at question number 1 observe the patterns of digits made from line segments of equal length you will find such segmented digits on the display of electronic watches or calculators see here in six how many matrices are used to draw 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 is used here then in second 1 2 3 4 5 Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why eleven? Because this part is shared by first one and second six. Okay. Now, in third, similarly, we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. So in three, how many are shared? Two, one, and two. So basically, how many are independent matrices? we are using here independent means which is not shared by anyone so five matrix are there which is not shared by anyone how many five count 1 2 3 4 and 5 five are not shared by anyone okay and how many are shared one so 5 into n Plus one will be your pattern. Why it so? Because here we used five. Here independent are ten, and here independent are fifteen. So it on twenty, then twenty five, thirty. Then afterward, one 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 in each is used. Okay, that's it. Now, try the next pattern. How it is three and plus one. Now see to make four. How many matrices are used? One, two, three, and four. And second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes or no? In third one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yes or no? Absolutely yes. Now here you can see how many are individual, which is not shared. Here it is one, two, and three. Three matrices are there, which is not shared, and one is shared. So what will be the pattern? Three n plus one. First we will write how many are independent and how many are shared. So here independent is three and shared is one. So the pattern will be constructed like this: three n plus one. Now you can see that for the two uh, fours, three two is six plus one seven. For three, three four the three three the nine plus one equals to ten. Okay. Now as you can see for the C part, you can. Easily understand why it is five n plus two. Now see, if the number of digits formed is taken to be n, the number of segments is required to form n digit is given by the algebraic expression appearing on the right of each pattern. How many segments are required to form five, ten, and hundred digits of the kind? Five, ten, and hundred digit of that kind. So see. If we are constructing six, okay, what we are constructing here, 
six. So number of segment required to form five digit will be equals to five into five plus one, which is equals to twenty six. For ten, five tens are fifty plus one, fifty one. And hundred. Five into hundred, five hundred plus one, five hundred one. Okay, like this you can calculate the numbers. Hope you understand all three. Now I'm moving to the next question. Question number two. Use the given algebraic expression to compare the tables of number of patterns. Serial number, expression, and terms. First. Two n minus one. Okay. If you put the value of one, then what will the value? Two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, like this. Now you need to complete the table. To calculate here hundred. See. What you will do? Two multiply by hundred minus one, which is equal to two hundred minus one. One nine nine. Okay. For five here, you need to fill this table. For five, three five the fifteen plus two seventeen. For ten, three ten the thirty plus two thirty two. Why? Because the value of n is here ten. For hundred, three into hundred, three hundred plus two, three hundred two. Now the third, fourth, and fifth part. See, four n four n plus one. For the five, we need to calculate here. Four five the twenty plus one twenty one. Four ten the forty plus one forty one. Four into hundred plus one four hundred one. For fourth part, seven five the thirty five plus twenty fifty five. Seven ten the seventy plus twenty ninety. Seven into hundred seven hundred plus twenty is equals to seven two zero. Now the last part. For the five, five is the twenty five plus one twenty six will be here. For ten, ten ten the hundred plus one one zero, one. Okay. Why? It's so. N square means n into n plus one. For ten, what you will do? Ten into ten plus one hundred plus one equals to one zero one. Like this. Okay. So here you have to fill the tables with blue pen in your copy. So. Here our next chapter is completed. Now I'm going to start next chapter, which is exponents and power. It's chapter number thirteen.